Hey guys, what's up? So patch 1.6.6 is out, and this update intends to put some unpopular tank and fighters back into the limelight. I think this is good news, especially for these heroes. But aren't they forgetting the others, or is it just me? Anyway, one of the heroes who received a buff is Grok, and it seems most of his skills are improved. Now let's start with his passive. His extra magic defense when near a wall is removed, but in exchange, he gets 0.5 physical defense for each point of physical attack. So for example, building a blade of despair not only gives plus 160 physical attack, but also plus 80 physical defense with it. But wait a second. Now, if you're wondering how much magic defense Grok lost with this new effect, well, he lost 135 points of it. And it's like 3 magic defense items combined. With this new passive, he can still have a decent physical defense even with a full damage build. But he's now more squishy when receiving magic damage. Next is his second skill. Its flying distance is slightly increased and its shockwave can no longer be blocked by Lolita's shield. Last is his ultimate. They changed the name to Earth and Force and it's given a new effect. Instead of getting a 30% cooldown reduction when hitting a wall, it now stuns nearby enemies for 1.2 seconds. That's basically all the adjustments made to Grok. I'm currently playing solo here in Advanced Server and I'll be our team's tank slash fighter here in Experience Lane. Okay. I plan to see how much Grok is improved and if he can be used as a new meta side lane in original server. So in line with this new update, I think I'm going to adjust some items for Grok. This is the build that I've used in this game. I built two offensive items, Blade of Despair and Bloodlust Axe. The rest will be defensive ones and it'll depend on my enemies. I think one of the things I like with Grok is how his first skill works. Even Diggy's annoying CC trap is disregarded. But of course, suppression skills can still bypass Grok's CC immunity, so better watch out for that. Nice try, Ling. I'm almost done with my Blade of Despair. Let's see how much damage a single offensive item with Grab can do. I felt bad for killing that owl. Or not. Even though Grab seems troublesome to deal with, he still can't fight enemies head on. Especially the ranged ones that are hard to reach or when he's outnumbered. Damn, I'm like a giant moving target for Irital. They're having a clash at the bottom. Let's see what they can do. Request backup. Your team destroyed a turret. I don't know what's worse, me ramming the tower or Alucard dashing on to me. Group is powerful. 
Here's the lady who made me her moving target. You're going down, sister. I guess the joke's on me. Let go first. Have you ever seen an ancient one? Now that they've pushed the first tower, it's time to disturb the other lanes. Rock doesn't want to be your enemy. Request backup. Their jungler is about to respawn. Two of his buffs are alive, so camping near them is a good idea. Alucard will probably take one of them soon. Now he's dead again. Have you ever seen an ancient one? Four of them are dead. We can push this middle tower and take the remaining jungle creeps. Let go first. the enemies are dead and we can simply get the Lord to end this game. But since the Lord goes level 2 at 12 minutes, we might as well wait for it. Now I can see Ling with low HP at the bottom lane. I wonder where that guy is. Our enemies can easily clear our incoming minions. Pushing is harder than we thought. Is powerful. No matter how hard we push these guys to the edge, I suppose we can't advance further without the Lord. Time to retreat. We're trying to take the Lord and two of our teammates are... I think they're camping? I guess they'll try to kill incoming enemies. Now they're dead. Our turret has been destroyed. Shoot, they're on their way. The Lord has reset. I got to wait for my teammates to respawn. Now for the Lord. We got it. Monster kill. 
So what can you say about Grab's buff? Is this buff enough to put him back in the limelight? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.